to my channel so today's video is actually really different from what i normally do but i'm so excited for today's video because i'm going to be showing you guys my fake tanning routine for like fall winter time when obviously i can't go out and sun tan here in michigan because it's pretty much cloudy every single day in the winter and fall also way too cold to be out there sitting outside so I'm definitely not gonna be doing that for a while. But yeah, I did wanna show you guys my tanning routine. I'm very, very excited to be partnering with Loving Tan in this video. They sent me over some amazing products that I am able to try out for you guys and let you know how I like them and how they are working for me. Also, I do wanna say I'm really sorry about the noise in here if it's loud. We have like a fan in this bathroom that I can't turn off. It's only like one switch when the light goes on and it turns the fan on as well. So I'm really sorry if it is kind of loud. Hopefully it's not too bad. As you can see, I clearly just showered. My hair is soaking wet. So while I was in the shower, I knew I was going to be a fake tan so I did want to exfoliate a little bit. So Loving Tan, it does have this exfoliator little mitt thing. So it has two sides to it. One is pink and this is like the softer exfoliator side and then the black side is a little bit rougher on your skin and personally I like to use the black side just because you kind of know that it's really getting everything off and yeah, it just works really well to get any dead skin off. It also is great to get any leftover fake tan off of your skin that you might have from using previously. So yeah, this is like the first step to anything. And of course, taking a really nice shower, shaving your legs, making sure everything is clean. The next step for me is going to be putting on moisturizer pretty much anywhere because this is going to make it way easier for the tan to develop nicer. For any tan, you always want to make sure to moisturize first. That way the tan will stay on for longer and it will just look nicer over time. So I'm going to do that now and then we can actually get into the tan itself. actually put on the tan itself. I did want to talk about the different products that they did send me over and how they all work and everything so you guys can kind of pick out which one you may want to buy and what kind of purpose each one has. So the first one that we have here is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse and this is what it looks like. So this is pretty much the tan itself. So this is what you would use if you really want a tan that's going to last the longest. This one lasts up to 10 days and if you keep doing the correct things like moisturizing and just maintaining it really well it can last even longer than that my shade that i have here is ultra dark and i just got this color because i am kind of tan as it is just because that's my natural skin color i thought that the ultra dark would give me the most effective look compared to what i already am What's really cool about this tan is that it's actually more of an olive color i have tried a fake tans in the past and they seem to always give like a very orange color and it just does not look good. Really nice about this is that it does have ingredients in it which kind of offset that orange color and make it look more of an olive tone. It also dries very quickly. It can last up to 10 days as I said. It is waterproof once it is fully developed so that means you are able to shower after the six hours that you have to leave it on for and it will still be perfectly intact. All right, so to apply that mousse, they did send over a applicator mitt, which looks like this. So obviously you just slip it onto your hands, you put some mousse on top, and you're gonna spread it all over your body. And yeah, this is super, super soft. So far, I think it's gonna be really nice to apply this tanner. What's also super great is they actually gave me a coupon code for you guys to use to get a free one of these with your purchase. So if you are interested, you can use the code Alyssa and you can get a free applicator mitt. The next product that they sent over was the Deluxe Gradual Tan. So this is what it looks like. And this is for more of a quicker application. If you don't have like six hours to wait for the tan to dry, this is something that's going to develop quicker. It might not be as dark. So again, this product has the olive color, so you're not getting that orange look. It has a luminous finish, so you can look super glowy if you are going out for the night or something. Quick dry, easily removed. This is something that's not going to last that long period of time, but it will be perfect just for the night of if you need 
create something super quickly. And again, this one you are going to apply with the applicator mitt. It's also super buildable, so you are able to get it up to that color that you want. All right, and then the last product that they sent over is the Deluxe Face Tan. So obviously this one is for your face. What I would do is probably apply this with either one of those products because this one is made more for your face. If that's all you have, you can probably just apply those to your face. But since I do have the face tan one, I will be putting this one up. So this one is in the shade dark as well. This one is also just a two hour development. It is also packed with a bunch of antioxidants to naturally hydrate your skin. This includes acai berry, green tea, aloe vera, and pomegranate. This one you actually don't have to use the applicator mitt. You can apply it with a makeup brush or just with your fingertips. All right, so I think that is everything I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this deluxe bronzing mousse first, and then we will go ahead and use the deluxe face tan as well. Okay, so I wanna show you guys how my skin looks before. So here's kind of a before of my arms. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying it to my arms and then I'll probably go off camera and do the rest of my body because I'm going to need to take off my shirt and stuff. So I have my applicator mitt here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt some of this onto here. And then we're going to start applying it. I am noticing it's drying pretty fast so you got to work fast with it. I'm gonna make sure to get my elbows really good and then what's left over I'm just gonna go over my fingers get in between everything. All right I don't know if you guys can tell but I can already tell a difference on my arms. This one on my right is definitely darker than my left so that's awesome to see already. What's super nice too is that even if it does look patchy as long as you are getting all of the areas you're covering everything it will come off, the patchiness will come off as you take a shower and rinse everything off. So as long as you're getting every single crevice. My arms are not finished. I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest of my body and I will check back with you guys when I'm finished. All right, I just finished applying the instant bronzer all over my skin. And I don't know if you guys can see, I stopped it right at my face line here. And I'm now going to be using the deluxe face tan for this part. And I'm just gonna use my fingers because I don't want to get a makeup brush all dirty. And yeah, it's just gonna be easy to do that way. This is the before. Very pale. <laughs> outside first and then work my way in to the t-zone of the face just because i don't want it like super harsh in the t-zone normally your bronzer goes on the outside of the face so that's kind of what i'm going for like a natural bronze i'm gonna go over my ears as well just so it's not an odd ball out <laughs> And I'm gonna make sure that I go into my hairline with it so there's, again, not a super harsh line. All right, I think that is pretty well evenly coated. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. All right, so this is the after. It just gave a very slight bronze. I did kind of leave it sitting there for a little too long so i'm hoping that that will wash off when i wash my face but yes i'm very happy with how it looks so far you're supposed to wait two hours for the face one but honestly i might just wait the full six hours because that's what i'm gonna wait for the other one so i'm gonna wait six hours and i will check back in with you guys when everything is fully developed after i've showered Hi guys, it is way later now. I have officially showered and I washed everything off. And I have to say, I definitely do see a difference. I did wash it off a little bit earlier. I washed it off at like five and a half hours and you are supposed to wait the full six hours. So, I mean, I can definitely tell. I love that it is like very much an olive tone. I don't think it's orange at all. This, this is actually how I would look 
if I just had a natural tan. So this is what it looks like. I mean, I can definitely see a difference. Yeah, I, I actually really like how it looks. It's not too much. It's definitely not patchy at all. Um, I do really, really like how it looks overall. So this is the after. I'm really just showing my arms. Here's my legs, but. <laughs> I'm very very happy with how it turned out. I don't know about you guys, but I have way more of like confidence and I feel so much better about myself when I have a tan, whether that's natural or obviously fake. And I already feel better about myself, which sounds so stupid, but like it is just the reality of it and that's actually how I feel. So, but yeah, I will definitely be using this if I feel like I look super pale and more into like winter time. Again, if you guys are interested, be sure to use the code Alyssa. And I will have it on the screen, but it does get you a free applicator mitt if you are purchasing one of these products that I mentioned today. Before I end the video, I do want to point out some things that I actually really love. Like this is my personal opinion overall compared to other fake tans I've used. For one, it is not sticky at all. I thought it dried super fast. I feel like with other fake tans, you feel like you can't put clothes on over it because you think it's just gonna transfer. I did not feel like that after I applied this. I felt like I was perfectly fine to put clothes on. There wasn't really a strong scent that was like lingering on after. And that was also really nice because you don't want everyone to be smelling your fake tan after you put it on. It gives a very olive color, which I've talked about a ton throughout this video, but it is super important when it comes to these things. Overall, I do really like it and I will be using it. Here's a natural light color if you guys are wondering. So this is how it looks in the natural light. Here's my arms my legs i hope you guys enjoyed this video i was so grateful when loving tan reached out to me and wanted to work with me and it was just an opportunity that i could not miss because i've always heard so many amazing things about their brand and i remember seeing influencers that i've always looked up to work with them and i would just like dream to be that person and yeah i was just so so shocked when they messaged me and it was just crazy so Thank you guys for getting me to this point where I am for always supporting me. I am so grateful all the time and I love doing this so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.